I've been using ProTheme by ThemeCo for about five years now, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I love it so much and why it might be a good fit for you too. So I'm gonna break this down by giving you a brief overview of what ProTheme is. I'll compare it to some other popular WordPress themes so you can see what other options there are. And then we'll take a look at the interface and how to use common features so you can kind of get a feel for it. And then I'll tell you who I think should use this theme. So what is ProTheme? ProTheme is a premium theme that you can buy for your self-hosted WordPress site. So it's only for people who are using WordPress. Now, it's important to understand that this is not like your basic theme that you find when you're like browsing the WordPress theme library. Those typically provide really basic customizations through cumbersome drop-down menus and properties, and they still rely on the WordPress Gutenberg interface for creating and customizing content. Now, pro theme is completely different than a typical WordPress theme because it provides a completely separate user interface to create and edit not only the overall theme and style of your website, but the content itself. And it includes completely new content elements that you can use that aren't available in native WordPress. So it's a visual drag and drop interface for creating pages, headers, footers, sliders, and other content. So these types of themes are typically called page builders. And when you're using ProTheme, you don't even feel like you're using WordPress anymore. You can kind of think of it as like a completely separate website builder interface that happens to use your WordPress site on the back end. So what are some other themes that are comparable to ProTheme? So as you're researching different page builder themes, you might also wanna check out some other popular ones like Divi, Elementor, Oxygen, Generate Press or Visual Composer to name a few. Now, a lot of those are certainly more popular than Pro, but I've personally been really happy with it. I've bought a bunch of single licenses like over the course of five, six, seven years, and I finally broke down and bought the unlimited license so I can use it on all of my sites, including any sites that I build for clients. And I think the sweet spot for me has been how ProTheme balances direct visual drag and drop editing where you're manipulating individual elements and properties directly with the ability to create reusable templates, styles, presets, and global blocks that let me control many parts of my website from one source. And I think the depth of customization that's available with ProTheme really gives me full control over the look of any element on the page without needing to resort to custom coding. And if I ever get stuck or something or need to create some custom CSS code, the support forum is extremely responsive and generous with their advice. So if you're like me and you appreciate a lot of the professionally designed pre-made page templates and content templates that most of these page builders come with, and ProTheme has an entire design cloud with pre-made websites and elements that you can use as well. But if you just need to have the advanced control uh, to tweak it exactly how you want it, you'll appreciate ProTheme because a lot of the more popular page builders focus their interface to be less intimidating. So they end up sacrificing some of the control you get with Pro theme. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a professional graphic designer or web designer by any means, but I don't know, I just really need the control to make it look exactly how I want it. So let's take a look at the Pro Theme interface. So once you install and activate Pro Theme, you'll see the Pro menu right here. And this is just gonna give you a dashboard showing your license status. And if you scroll down here, you can see all of the extensions that are included with your Pro Theme license. So Advanced Custom Fields Pro is a very popular plugin uh, that's included with your license. Content Doc is a pop-up plugin. All these other extensions or plugins are included with ProTheme, and ProTheme is very tightly integrated with WooCommerce. So if you need to create a, an e-commerce store 
for your website, you can use ProTheme uh, to do that as well. And WooCommerce is actually free, so you can turn any WordPress site into an e-commerce store using WooCommerce. Now below the pro theme menu item, you'll see Cornerstone. And Cornerstone is actually a product in and of itself, which can actually be purchased separately and used with any theme to create content for pages and posts. So this is the page builder aspect of pro theme. But when you buy pro, Cornerstone is included with that license. It's built into that uh, theme as well. So with the pro theme license, Cornerstone goes well beyond just creating pages and posts. You'll see it has a header builder, a footer builder, and layout builder as well. So for instance, if I go to the header builder, you can see I've got these different headers uh, that show up in different parts of my site. So when you go to my main site, mastersketchup.com, when you go to that homepage, you'll see this custom header. And the cool thing is once you scroll down, this different header pops up underneath. So it kind of has this, this scrolling effect. So you see this at the top and then you scroll down and then this one pops up here. And so you can create rules so certain headers will show up on certain pages. And so if I go to this other header, this is going to be the header that shows up on every other page on the site. So it doesn't have that top uh, splash page when you first go to it. But in addition to being able to design custom headers and footers, the page builder will let you create content. And so let me show you this page for example. Now you'll notice right away when this loads, this page doesn't actually have a header or footer. So you can customize the uh, overall template that you use when you create a page. And so in this case, I'm using a blank template with no header and no footer. And this is great for creating product landing pages like this. So if you've ever looked at something like ClickFunnels, you can create landing pages just like that using ProTheme and not have to pay for ClickFunnels. And so you can see I've got all of these different elements on the page. Let me just go to the navigation here. And as I hover over the kind of navigation or hierarchy of the page, you can see how things are created. So in this top element here, uh, the, way th the way things are organized in Pro is you have sections. So I can add another section in between any of these. So this top one video is the first section on the page. And then within each section, you have one or more rows and then within each row, you have one or more columns. And the way this is set up is to make it easier for your site to be responsive. So for instance, if I scroll down to, let's say this uh, section right here, so that is under the credibility section. So we have the first row, which is the, the heading of the section. And then I have, this row that is made up of two columns. Now you'll notice that in this widescreen view, these two columns are displayed side by side. But if we just switch to a tighter view, like on, a, on an iPad or cell phone, and that's one of the things I love about ProTheme is the way, the way you can quickly change the preview and, and edit the page while you're seeing it as you would see it on different different devices. But you can see how this row changed the way the columns were stacked according to the size of the screen. And you have complete control over this. So if I go into the layout, and actually I wanna go into this row right here. So if we go to the widescreen, you can see that the layout for the widescreen has the columns side by side like this. But if you click on template here, you can see how we can create these breakpoints for the different types of devices or screen sizes that the page gets displayed in. So if we change the display to this, you can see how it shows it like this. If I, if I had it side by side, it's going to look a lot smaller like that.
So let me show you how uh, adding a section looks. So let's go back to a widescreen and we'll go down to the bottom here and I'll just add a section and you'll see it update live. So the new section is, is added here and I can go ahead and, and click right here to create like a, a two column layout. So this will now be a row with two columns and then I can click on the elements here and these are all of the custom elements that you can use with Pro Theme. So if I wanted a countdown timer, I can throw that in there. I can customize that however I want. There are a ton of different elements that you can use uh, with Pro Theme. So maybe I've got a testimonial in here. So it's really drag and drop, and then you just click on the element that you wanna customize, and you can see all of the different uh, properties of that specific element over here in the left side. But if you wanna edit text directly, you can just double click on it and edit the text directly right there. So it's, it's a great uh, visual editing uh, page builder that also gives you the advanced controls in all of the settings over here on the side. Now, there are a bunch of better looking and more advanced uh, examples on ThemeCo's website, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what the interface looks like from someone who's not a designer. So who should use this theme? Well, first of all, if you're going to use any page builder with WordPress, you need to understand that there's quite a commitment because any page created using a page builder will not be easily transferred to a new theme if you decide to stop using it down the road. Now, with other basic themes that heavily depend on the native WordPress content creation features, you can pretty easily switch between themes if you want to, and it'll just update the styling of the site. But since page builders have such a large influence on the structure and content of the website, switching themes becomes much more of a project. So I would say if you're an intermediate WordPress user who finds yourself constantly trying to Google how to tweak certain elements in CSS, or if you use a dozen different extensions to add features to your site, and you want a design platform that makes it easy to visualize responsiveness, I think you'll love ProTheme. Now for beginners, I can see certain people getting overwhelmed with some of the advanced features, and you may decide that you're willing to sacrifice some design freedom and control in order to have a simplified design interface with less options by going with you know a simpler theme. But if you're a little bit above a beginner, I think you'll find Pro Theme to be a much faster and more flexible way to design in WordPress. Now, how much does Pro Theme cost? Now, you can buy monthly or yearly. Uh, subscriptions, so $9 monthly, $59 per year, but I really recommend just going for the lifetime license um, because, like I said, it's kind of a commitment, so if you decide to switch over to Pro Theme, you're kind of committed to keeping that up to date you know, for the years to come. So you're gonna be kicking yourself if you don't just get the, the lifetime updates. I've got like I so I bought like maybe three or four single site licenses like five or six years ago that are still being updated to this date and I finally broke down and got the lifetime uh, unlimited use license so I can use it on any website even if it's for a client um, I can use my unlimited use license to produce more pro licenses for my clients. So, and I don't really do much client work anymore, but I have a bunch of different websites. So I love having the unlimited use license, but totally understandable if you're just a beginner starting out, 400 bucks is a lot of money to drop. Um, but I would say, I would, I would recommend that you at least get the lifetime single use license for pro theme. Now, you might have noticed that they have another theme called X, and this was kind of the theme that came before Pro. Uh, I actually started out on X theme myself, 
and you're probably wondering what the differences are. So the main difference between Pro and X is that you don't get the header, footer, and layout builder with X. You only get the page and post builder. So you have to resort to creating child themes and manually coding the templates to customize the look of your site. So. In my opinion, getting Pro Theme instead of X is a no brainer. So, if you'd like to buy Pro Theme, you can support my channel by using my affiliate link, onlinebusinesstech.com forward slash pro, or click the link in the description. And if you have any questions about Pro that I didn't cover in this video, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.